All right, so the second video concerns more of the original question of why uh, this guy wrote me a letter, which was, uh, the original video was, why don't gay men like women? And, you know, it's kind of a stupid question, but I, my point was that if gay men settle for feminine men, why won't they, why won't they settle for women? And your response was uh, it's summed up here. Nevertheless, settling for somebody as close as possible to the desirable end of the masculinity spectrum, even if not situated exactly at the ideal end point of the spectrum, is still not the same as being attracted to women. And uh, you also then go on to, and talk about Dan Savage, namely that he uh, he talked he had an anecdote about. Um, he, he was looking at a lesbian firefighter, and that lesbian firefighter was, was rather masculine, and Dan Savage, being gay, was nonetheless still attracted to the masculinity. Okay. So, but the interesting thing there is, is if Dan Savage is attracted to uh, a gay, uh, is attracted to masculine, and he settles for uh, a more feminine guy, but then he's still attracted to a, a more masculine woman even though there's a vagina there. The question is, why does he never set, why would he never settle for a woman though, including a more masculine woman? Because if we're gonna say that, let's say the uh, masculine ideal is right here, and with gays, they're right here, let's say, and that's what they settle for. Well, what about the uh, female firefighter? Where should, where would she be, you know? Because if she's like right here, and gay guys that are, and, and the gay guys that Dan Savage or anybody else settles for are here, then why is it that gay guys never settle for the women that are over here? Okay. And, and, and it's not, you know, everybody. It's just, why does this never occur? You know, because if the whole point is, all right, we're going to compromise, we're going to settle, and we'll go with this masculine instead of this, then what about women who are this masculine? When in fact, Dan Savage acknowledges that he is attracted, okay. Uh, and there was this, this humorous joke on one of the earlier episodes of The Office. Uh, so you have, you have the dumb boss, uh, Steve Carell, and there's, they suspect that Oscar is gay, and they also sort of suspect that uh, Angela is gay. So then, then Steve Carell asked this, this stupid question, is like, could Oscar and Angela be having a homosexual relationship? Because, you know, they're both gay. Well, and, and it's funny because, you know, gay men don't go with lesbian women. But again, why not? Because if you're saying a gay guy who, uh, who, is, who wants this much masculinity but settles for this much masculinity, why would he never, even if he acknowledges that he is attracted to masculine women, why would he never settle for masculine women who are here? Why is it that you never hear of this? Okay. Uh, the other uh, other example was uh, Marky Miller that you mentioned in your earlier post. I looked up his video, and he he himself was was uh, masculine. I, I would be lying if I said I could tell that he was he was feminine or gay, but his boyfriend was gay, visibly gay, and I think they even talked about that. So 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 there's there's the whole thing that yes, if a feminine guy settles for a more masculine guy, then the, even if even if the more masculine guy is not as masculine, for the feminine guy, that's fine. But what about the masculine guy? If he settles for the feminine guy, who's much more, uh, who's, who's more, who's more feminine than he is and his ideal, then the, for the masculine guy, and in this case, the masculine guy, I think, is, is completely there. So why is it that he doesn't want women at all? Why is it that that never comes up? You know, and my answer is, let me preface my answer. I, I'm not talking about all, you know, I'm just saying that in these specific instances where you have a gay guy who settles for feminine or more or less masculine, but then never ends up settling for a woman who might be more masculine. Why is it that this never happens? And my answer is just culture. When when these categories, uh, heterosexuality and homosexuality, were created, I mean, this was this wide chasm of you have heterosexuals here, you have uh, you have homosexuals here, and all of the nuance and all of the overlap and any kind of um, differentiation was lost. And whereas with heterosexuality, uh, most heterosexuals don't acknowledge 
that they do like uh, members of their own sex, which as I show with Guerrero for men, that's probably a majority. I think a similar thing could be true for gays, okay? That they're not exclusively attracted only to men. Because again, if they settle for feminine or, or more feminine than what they want, then I'm sure you could find a woman who's along the same uh, gender lines, who's, who's as masculine as what you're settling for in another man. Um, so I hope uh, this was less rambling than the original response, uh, but if you have any questions or if anybody has any questions, uh, feel free to ask. Uh, uh, I would prefer to make another video and ramble some more, for example. So.